Hi, this is a walkthrough for adding a DocuSign delivery option to a DDP. To begin, you must select the DDPs tab, then choose the appropriate DDP. This will take you to the detail page. Once in the detail page, navigate down to the delivery options object and select the new delivery option button. This will initiate the record type selection page. Choose DocuSign and select continue. This will initiate the edit page. A description of every field on the edit page can be found on our support website for the Add DocuSign Delivery Option page. Go ahead and give the delivery option a name and then fulfill any other necessary information. Some key fields to make note of are the fields in the Email option section. Selecting the Allow Subject and Email checkbox gives the user the option of editing what gets defaulted in the subject and email fields. You can enter in both static text and dynamic text by using merge tags from the field tagger in the subject and email text fields. These fields will simply default the subject and body of your DocuSign email with information. The tags that you can use in these fields is determined by the relationships made in the relationships object and what you choose as a record type for your DDP. Once you are done with the email options, you can move on to the reminders and expirations. These are also important fields. Selecting the allow remind and expire changes checkbox gives the user the option to edit what's defaulted in the four fields below. These fields are in units of days and what you set here can be changed by the user. Select Save when all necessary fields are completed and then move on to adding your recipients. Select the New Recipient button from the Recipients object and fulfill all necessary information within the Recipient Edit page. A description of these fields can be found on the Support page for adding a DocuSign delivery option as well. Some of the key fields are the signer type, sign options, recipient number, and role name. The recipient number affects our tagging convention and the role name is what the user sees for the role of the recipient. If you want the first recipient to be an embedded signer, you can select routed via loop plus in the embedded signer dropdown. These will pop up additional embedded options. Then you must choose how the recipient will be chosen. Your options are user selected contact, current user, selected contact, selected user, user lookup, contact lookup, static name and email, user selected name and email, roles or groups, object owner, and object creator. Descriptions can be found on the support page. For this example, we're going to use user selected contact and then choose save and new. Now we're going to create the second recipient with a signing order of two, recipient number of two, and a role name of draw loop representative. Then we're going to give the recipient some sign options. They'll be signing, signing their full name, and the date they sign. Then we're going to have this recipient be the current user. Once we save this, our DocuSign delivery option is ready for use. We have our delivery option and our recipients. To preview this, we can navigate to a record on our main object for the DDP and then choose a loop plus button. Because the delivery option is already selected, we can see the delivery option menu. Selecting a contact in step one of the Visual Force page will auto populate the first recipient because this is the way we set it up in the recipient object. Also, the current user is populating the second recipient because of the way we set it up in the second recipient edit page. Because we allowed subject and email changes, the user can select edit email and change the subject and body of the email message. Additionally, because we selected allow reminder and expiration changes, the user can select the button and make changes to the reminders and expirations we set. 
Now at this point I'd like to note that this is an example only. There is no limit to the amount of recipients you can add to a DocuSign delivery option. So just because we've added two recipients for this delivery option doesn't mean you can add five or maybe ten recipients to your envelope. But to give you a preview of how you send your DocuSign envelope, you hit run, at which point the document will be processed. Then as long as you haven't selected skip PDF preview in the DocuSign delivery option edit page, you should see a link that will let you preview your output file. Select the link to preview your document. And then if you're satisfied, you can choose to send to DocuSign by selecting the send to DocuSign button. However, because we haven't yet tagged our document, we recommend that you move on to the tag document section for DocuSign on our support site. But this is how you add a DocuSign delivery option to a DDP. Thank you.